Laundry TV. I am your host, Carrie Kay, and today we have Stephen Malkmus and the Jigs. Hey, guys. Yes. Thank you for joining hey us girls. today, folks. No problem. We're not in the laundry today. Nope. But I'm sure your shirts are very clean. Yeah, the second day on our tour, yeah. we're pretty clean. Yeah. How did y'all form? How did the band get together? Um, I was already uh, planning a band, and then I knew Joanna from uh, living in Portland. And uh, Mike came from um, another band that he was in with uh, our old drummer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. no, no, before John. her, okay. John Mullen. He's in the Decembers and Black Prairie and the Eyelids. And perhaps. He's a busy man with the long Yeah, so he <laughs> got Mike, and then uh, Mike's like multi-instrumentalist. And then Jake from um, just a young one, he's, he was in the young Craig, ones. Craig found me on Craigslist. <laughs> you remember that show? Oh, the baby. Um, yeah, so he, he's a uh, Portland. Been in a lot of bands, like the Joggers. Love and the joggers. Shaky Hands for oh, yeah. a short time. Yeah. French Kicks. Uh, speaking of, of, of Janet, <laughs> she was formerly a Egyptian. She yeah. was formerly of the Jicks. What happened to her? Mm, she moved on. Do you remember that band Wild Flag? Uh -huh. um, she decided to do that, and uh, we weren't touring that much because I was doing something else for a little while. Making and babies. And so she's like, I gotta, you know, mom's gotta work. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna sit around while you pushing babies out. <laughs> so she started that band. And so it was perfect timing because Jake was there just waiting in the wings, like in a play. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was like, <laughs> like air drumming Understudy. all the parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's cool though. You'll be hearing from her soon. Right on. What about a normal day in the life of uh, Stephen Malkmus non-touring? Me specifically? Yes, yes um, sir. Wake up, uh, I don't know. I have kids. Mm -hmm. Make their lunch. Um, do the take the dirt, clean dishes out from the last night. Um, make coffee. Uh huh. Um, for the kids. No, for my wife. Go upstairs, <laughs> give it to her, tell her to get up. <laughs> um, then cat make wrangling. breakfast. Maybe cream of wheat. Cat. I have cat to feed the cats in, in the morning. <laughs> Um, then go to school, Yeah. drop them off, I have to wait a half hour because there's a time lag between them. So hang out with four-year-olds and 40-year-olds for a half hour. <laughs> Is he, then I can do whatever I want. I can go surf the net, I could go do some recording, surf the net. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. Yes, we <laughs> And then pretty all of a sudden, it's time to go to the cello lesson or something. Do you, so, uh, do your girls uh, like your music? What type of music they do they love listen it. to? They always want to hear it. They like ABBA, Arrival. Mm -hmm. um, they like they like that ABBA song that goes bum 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 I am behind you. It's on Arrival, but it's not Dancing Queen. That's also on there. <laughs> That's what they like. Of course, Steve's kids like the B-sides. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. No. That makes they a like lot of the big, sense. They like the big. They like Tigers. We are the Tigers <laughs> off Mirror Traffic. They like, uh, mm, they like the Houston Hades chorus humming off our new album, Wig Out at Jag Bags. They like that. So you should buy it. <laughs> Leonard Gonzalez from uh, the, the San Fernando Valley, California, would like to know, what's the best song you've ever written? Me? Of yeah. All time. yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Steve. Um, the best one, probably uh, the first ones, like uh, Psychopath, <laughs> early punk song I wrote. Um, that's the answer. What, what, what did it mean to be an early punk in Stockton in the 80s? 
It meant we were always late on everything. We were always copying you, um, <laughs> copying Los Angeles, copying, looking in our magazines and dreaming of, you know, like heroin needles in London and stuff. We didn't have that. We were just, you know, suburban kids. So it was uh, basically, uh, you know, a stance against <coughs> kind of jock football, Coors Light, uh, fights in high school and stuff and it was a good uh, way to identify against that in a kind of breakfast club style, you know. It's pretty universal. It's yeah. probably not localized to Stockton. No. My producer wanted me to ask you what the difference is between your uh, songwriting process now and your songwriting process way back. Way or back. Early pavement. It's not too different. I mean, now I have back then there was no band it was just me and one guy that I would kind of rub things off but now I have a full like eat band that I can like play stuff for and like hear it which is nice you know it's kind of you can try things out and also they add their own part to it and you know it's got a, a that's nice but back then it was just the two of us kind of no drummer and no no uh, no demos you know, like people now, we didn't even know that you could do that. Like, <laughs> our albums were the demo. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> What's your favorite record that you? Um, best ones are like they're the worst ones are like uh, the Terror Twilight and yeah. Bright in the Corners and like Face the Truth is okay. Uh, for for self titles, not that good. Um, <laughs> But, you know, Wowie Zowie's strong. Yep. Jag Bags, you always have to say the new one's the best. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to withhold. I'm gonna withhold. That might not be true. 